Welcome back guys. It's been a long time since I've made a video. Um, you guys have been begging for it for like a year, it seems like. So I figured out a long time ago how to make a template way easier. Um, I'm going to show you guys real quick right now. It's super easy. Um, I've been in the process of moving just to catch everybody up. And I am branching out. I was working under an FFL. Um, back where I was living and now I'm branching out and trying to do my own thing so currently I'm not engraving any firearms but I am getting my license uh, once I get my shop built up and everything and I just wanted to make some videos in the meantime to help you guys out so anything you guys want to see or learn with Adobe Illustrator if I'm capable of doing it I will show you guys uh, just comment leave me a, leave me a message however you want to do it um, and if you would go over and follow my Instagram page, I have some of my previous work on there from uh, working under the previous FFL. Um, it's Hemlock, H E M L O C K underscore customs. Hemlock Customs. That's my Instagram. I don't have much on there yet, but what I do have up is quality work. Um, like I said, if any of you guys have any suggestions on making this channel better or things you might want to see, if I'm capable of doing it, I'll do it. Um, Easy CAD tips and tricks, Adobe Illustrator, Illustrator tips and tricks, golly, I can't talk. But here we go. Um, so this is an easy way to do it. I got a high resolution picture downloaded, and I found out um, a lot of scanners scan in firearms like at a, at a one to one ratio. So once you scan them in and draw a template, it's already two size, and to me that's worked so much better. Um, I bought an Epson XP-4105, and you can scan slides, frames, whatever, and you draw a template, it fits. You go to EasyCAD, it's there, it's done, boom, easy. Um, so today, I just got a high resolution picture of a 1911, because it's the sexiest gun out there. And we're gonna draw a template fast and easy, I'm gonna show y'all. Um, so you grab your pen tool. I have selected my stroke to be red, so it's easily visible gonna click on your outside border wherever you want to put an anchor boom all right let's let's go ahead and make the stroke red there we go if you want to hold shift while you come over to the right it'll draw a straight line but a lot of times your pictures might not be square so you can't do that this works vertical as well if you hold shift it'll do a perfect vertical 45 or straight line release shift you can do however you want to do now so here we are First thing we got to do is dodge this little notch, huh? So what we're going to do is we're going to drop an anchor, go to the other side here. We're going to click, left click, and hold. As we hold, we can stretch out these little nodes, however big we want them. See what I'm doing there? Making a curve. Oh my God, it's so much easier, guys. Let go. That's it. Just let it go. Let's get that fill away. All right, then we come back. We click on our node again. Still got the pen tool selected. Bring it down. Boom. Oh, what is this? Another curve? No problem. Anchor. Left click and hold. Stretch your nodes out. Manipulate that little dude however you need it to go. Let's try to get it even. Release. Go back to your node. Click on it. Bring it over. Click again. Now here, let's go to the bottom of our curve the top portion of our curve, hold left click, manipulate it, boom, there we go, click back on our node, sound like a Billy Mays commercial, I'm trying to sell you guys something, let's go to the bottom of the curve here, boom, I am, myself, alright, now look, I didn't hold, so we gotta back up, control Z, that's left control and Z, that's an undo button for Adobe Illustrator, click and hold, give it a little curve, let go, go back to your node, Click here and hold. Boom. Let's give it a little curve down. There we go. Click back on your node. Now look guys, these shortcuts are pretty fun too. Left alt and scroll wheel down. Zoom out. Left control, scroll wheel up. We'll move you over. On respectfully. Uh, left alt and scroll wheel up will zoom you in. So there we go. Bring it all the way to here, boom. Now we're at the bottom of our, cur uh, bottom of our curve, so we want to go to where it flattens out. 
On the other side, left click and hold, stretch your node out. Let's just try to follow that line right there, that curvature. Let it go, click your node. We got some funky stuff going on right there. I'm not real sure what this is, but okay. Now, we need to line that up a little bit better. That's a direct select tool here. We went from pen tool to direct select. We click on our node, make sure that no other nodes are highlighted blue. Click it, drag it over a little bit. Get it straightened out. There we go. Now, look at that. Easy as cake. So much easier. What's that, like five minutes maybe? It's less. Now we'll do the same thing back here. Get our pen tool. Start out there. Now look, we're not red anymore, so we got to do that. Okay. One side of the curve, other side of the curve. Click and hold. Stretch it out a little bit. Release. Click back on your node. At your bottom corner. Click and hold. Follow that curve. Release. Click your node. Here we are again. Now for this, I would probably just follow the curve, get up to the top of this uh see where the apex of this curve is right here I'd get up to the top of it drop a node right there come back down to the bottom connect it all in get your direct select tool zoom in highlight that one node you got a little circle here just drag it on down there you go might want to soften that little line up too that's it dudes that is it. Easy as cake. Oh my god, so much easier than the last way I used to do it. And that works on anything, dude. So, then if you want to block this little fella out here, uh, same thing, man. We're still not red. There we go. Now I'm holding shift here so I can get straight lines. Tie it back in. That's easy, man. You can go back in here and edit these little nodes, soften the corners out a little bit. However you want to do it. Once you learn all these shortcuts in uh, Adobe, it makes things so much easier. And there you go. That's an exclusion zone for you. Now you can check all this out in um, go to view and outline mode. That's what your CAD software is going to see, which is EasyCAD or Lightburn, whatever you're going to use. Just make sure all your lines are tight and how you want them squared up, whatever, man. Easy as cake. So that's it, guys. Like I said. If you got any suggestions of uh, what you want to see next, just drop it in the comment section. Um, please subscribe to my channel. helps me out a lot. And let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Thanks.